Did you give me the blueprint for the uh, layout for the floor? On the west coast of Florida, there's a design studio whose sole purpose is to make dreams come true. The studio is the creative vision of one man, Bruce Berry. You got the rope? This program is just a glimpse of his wacky world. See, this is where I ate my spinach today. Oh, you are the mighty man. Yes! People ask what I do for a living, and it's a hard question to answer. We design creative themed environments for space. Anything with artwork, with sculpting, designing, creating, building, concepting, I'm the guy to go to. Creating fun, cool environments all over the world. And that's how we roll at Wacky World. I want to go the extra mile because it's going to make it look better. Okay. So it's going to be, it's roughly about 19 seconds. Bruce holds court, getting ready to present plans to a concerned client. When you're sending a lot of money to Wacky World in Tampa, Florida, and they meet the guy with the long hair, they get a little upset, and they're like, well, we really haven't seen anything yet. What's going on? We're sending a lot of money to Tampa, Florida, to a company called Wacky World. Uh, Fairhaven Church from Ohio. The associate pastor and the pastor called me. Uh, where's the drop color for the uh, coral reef? They said, Bruce, we're going to fly down. We want to meet and greet. We want to see your studio. So I start screaming on the phone, all hands on deck, code red, code red, code red. Yeah, we got, we're getting double right layers here, here, so whatever, Chicken whatever you got. Do you remember those plaid? Mike, where's the check-in desk we did? Hey, what are you doing? What are you working on? Where you been? Huh? It's all day, man. Everybody here that's at the studio is be here because they love it, not because of a paycheck. Start there, let me This company the and these people are my backbone. I am nothing without these wonderful people. In the beginning, it was just Bruce and his younger brother, Glenn. Now, 25 employees work together to produce Bruce's creations. When I started Wacky World Studios, it was called the Wild and Wacky Wonderful Rooms for Children. Well, about a week after saying that on the phone, <laughs> Wacky World. Defining all that the studio creates is difficult. No project is exactly the same. We design movie sets, rides for theme parks, environments for churches. We design museums, storefronts. We do so much at Wacky World. That's what I'm talking about. Wacky World is one thing from the next as fast as possible. You're doing hundreds of things all at one time. Everything has to be done right now. You have to figure out how you're going to do them as quickly as possible, efficiently, and still keep the aesthetics looking tops. It's going to be the largest one. So that's just Bruce is just as crazy as the rest of us. We get to go way beyond the limits sometimes. And we'll do like a six foot shark. These are cartoon sharks? The ones that we use for Foursquare. So that was Foursquare. Really yeah, yeah, put it that way. Yeah, it's, it's boxy. Things are always being tweaked and modified and up to the last minute, it seems like sometimes. So that's part of the creative process. Lucy, Lucy, this baby. stuff on there and on here. OK, yep. When you've been around people, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12 years, they understand how I think, how I work. I'm not one to say, has to be this way, my way, no way, or the highway. They all know it's not that way. Okay. So how's your right foot doing? It's to the metal, baby. Right. Pedal to the metal, baby. It's down. It's Pedal forward. to the metal. Thanks, buddy. Um, when I'm, me and you take a walk in the back, check on everybody in the back there. Okay. All right, I want to see what's going on back there with the wagon. Rick, what are you doing? Some would call Barry a control freak. The other side didn't cut, just the one side. Right, he calls cut. himself detail-oriented. How's everything coming with this? Good. Uh, when I was out here earlier, they said it's coming did you, along Did you call Dee Dee and let her know that Susan was going to be there? Yes. She's, she he can be tough, but he can be the nicest guy I ever want to work with. Right, right. All right. He can be real tough in business. He remembers every little detail of every little job. He has a tendency to try to micromanage, <laughs> in a sense, because he remembers everything. And if they don't remember, he gets really excited. Right. That, 
That's the stuff that drives me crazy. Yeah. See that right there? Yeah. I have yeah. made them paint it and repaint stuff over five, six, seven, eight times until it's right. But you know what the funny part is? Is they'll sit there and look at me and they'll shake their head and the whole nine yards and they'll go, why are we repainting this? It looks fine. Mm -hmm. See the wagon over here? Mm -hmm. See it's black? Mm -hmm. You can do the other part, just keep it all black. Paint it exactly like that wagon with the uh, decal. I mean, it doesn't happen every time because we have an excellent team. I have the A team here. But by the time they're done, whether it's drawing, whether it's painting, sculpting, and everything else, when I'm finally said and done with it, and I go, that's what I'm talking about. That's what makes me happy. They'll look and go, yeah, it's a better product. And that's what I'm all about. Next on the Wacky World of Bruce Berry. Mike, do you have the contract? A lot of times our clients have a hard time understanding the design process. I, I need you back here. They want to see things built. Bruce, man. Good to see you. How you doing?